Bogart's house, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? Krogar blames his wife for spilling their family fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. With his own- what? Why? With some family inside? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alva. On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Seep through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Okay. Krogar's fate is in your hands. By the gods, it's true, is it? It's bad luck to talk about that place. Jarl's been looking for someone who ain't superstitious, though. He looking for a fool, if you ask me. Jarl's been looking for someone who ain't superstitious, though. He looking for a fool, if you ask me. Hmm, okay. All right, then. I hear the steward asked you to look into the fire. Okay, good. Mm. Nice doing business with your Brognak. Supposed to be a take out Grognak the Barbarian. Who's there? Is that you, Father? Who are you? Helgi. My father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. When I'm lonely, will you play with me? Will you t if I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. You have to wait till nighttime, though. The other one's playing too, and he can't come out until then. Wait, other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. He might hear me. He's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Rogar innocent or not? I, I love that if you come... I forgot you could do this. If you come back to Jarl uh, Idrod, you get a new speech option to tell her that Helgi's ghost just asked you to play hide-and-seek. The spirit world is strong in this place. Look to the graveyard. That is where you'll Make my luck go away. Never should have come here. It's a vampire. What a waste. She's dead. Layla is dead. What can you tell me about your wife, uh, Sonir? Leoleth. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Leoleth. Really? Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods! You think Alva is a vampire? It's a possibility that we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leoleth may have met her fate out in the marsh. 
I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. My life is dreary. Where is my prince come to rescue me? Where is my bold Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? I met a man today when picking night flowers. He's exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was so romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. That was probably Movarth Pequeen that met her out in the moonlight, kissed her, did whatever, and then turned her into her, then bit her. Now I understand the true colors of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black and night and the true red of blood. He's promised me a feast of if I do this bidding in Morthal. Hurgar was easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first, someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Horgar is perfect. And then the, the rest is about how she tr she basically her, she turned Laylet into a thrall. And then here's the good part. Something is wrong with Laylet. She keeps talking about Helgi. I think her mind has snapped. She seems to think that the child can be brought back to her to be her companion. There's a stranger in town looking into the fire. I'll have to be careful. Okay, girls, we got what we need. Let's get out of here and go back to the Jarl. Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? <laughs> Didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. She plans to enslave the town. I assume you have proof. Making accusations like that without proof. I have her journal. So it's true, the treacherous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movar, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. She's dead. Leolet is dead. You want to help me kill the vampire? I want vengeance for my wife. Vengeance for Leolet. We're marching on Movarth's lair, whether you come with us or not. Yeah. yeah. First things first. For, first thing it it first things first. If you need any alchemy supplies, I'll do my best to provide them, assuming I haven't used them all up. Do you have a hard time getting supplies all the way out here? No. Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I just often don't have much to do, so I tend to dry things out. They don't usually work, but I try. Hmm. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. Okay. Oh, this place looks dangerous. I'm just a poor man trying to make a living. I'd leave Morthal were it in my power. They may be cowards, but I'm not. I'll go with you. You're a brave man. Leads on. Okay. I yeah. Kind of scary too. And it's full of vampires. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Okay. See ya. Cowards, we must kill the vampires. We have to make them pay. Of course, but why not let her go in first? Don't worry, Thornar. You have the th you have the three of us to to protect you in there. 
All right, let's go. Good job, Lydia. We're not done yet. You should have just... You should have just stayed hidden in Morthal, Alva. You know, there's a mod uh, where you can make her a companion. I may do that in another playthrough. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. You too, Thonar. Thonir. I'm just a poor man trying to make a living. I'd leave Morthal were it in my power. Hello, Helgi. Mother's calling you. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. Oh. You're welcome. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you do. Movarth's dead. By the eighth, I didn't think he could do it. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Take this as a token of our gratitude. 